As the war in Vietnam progresses through 1966 and into 67, the Viet Cong develop new tactics to blunt the material advantages of the United States. The Americans' use of the helicopter allow U.S. units to patrol vast swaths of countryside and respond quickly to enemy activity. In turn, VC units mount sudden attacks and ambushes on vulnerable American units, then melt into the jungle when help is on the way. Bases along the Ho Chi Minh Trail in neighboring Laos and Cambodia allow the Viet Cong to retreat in the face of superior forces, where the Americans are forbidden to follow. American forces operate closely alongside the Army of the Republic of Vietnam to locate and destroy Viet Cong bases and supply caches, and to wrest control of the countryside from communist insurgents. Americans serve as advisors and aides to Arvin troops, especially in the hotly contested areas north of Saigon, known as War Zone C and the Iron Triangle. A series of operations with names like Attleboro and Cedar Falls are mounted to sweep this area clean of guerrilla activity. The difficulty of this task is compounded by the ingenious tunnel systems that crisscross this area. Dug by Viet Cong and local conscripts and well camouflaged, these underground structures range from simple spider holes and subterranean caches to elaborate bases with their own hospitals, munitions factories, and printing presses. Deep enough to be invulnerable to all but the largest American bombs, the tunnels allow the guerrillas to find safety and concealment until the Americans pass, then re-emerge with their insurgency capabilities intact. Dear Mom, Pat Hodges and me just got into Saigon a few days ago. Our friends Hoss, Greaser, and Smooth are getting shipped off to Quezon. Hodges and me got a temporary transfer to work with some South Vietnamese units in the area around the capital. Hodges has become a good translator and is good with the radio. I'm here to show the locals the best way to fight the Kong. Guess all the action we saw around Da Nang got somebody's attention. The Army has a new way of fighting down here using a lot of helicopters, and I think they want to see how the Marines will adapt to it. I'm just following orders. These Arvin guys are pretty tough. I haven't seen them in action yet, but they drill like pros and a lot of them are real angry at the Viet Cong. They're a lot shorter than your average Marine. And I don't think they've seen a lot of black folk before because they seem kind of surprised every time they look at me. I think understanding them might be a bit hard at first, but with Pat's help, I get the hang of it. It was really hard to leave the guys back at Da Nang, but we'll see them again in about a year. Unless the war is over and then we'll see them back home. Anyway, that place just doesn't feel right without Zoo. I hope Jamie's shaping up a bit. Tell him to write me when he gets a chance. Love, Dean. Hey, anh có thể hỏi sẽ phạt giùm tôi được không? Hỏi cái gì? Tại sao Mỹ đen phải đánh giặc chi? Nếu sau khi về tới nước Mỹ cũng không phải là công dân Mỹ. Old chief over here wants to know why a black marine would want to fight in this war. He goes home and isn't even a real citizen in his own country. <laughs> Don't that beat all? I guess these guys do read the paper.
stay with you. I'm right here. I'm right here. Stay with me. I'm right here. You're all right. You're all right. You're going to be all right. You need a doctor, man. Land those claymores and let's get to cover. Everyone get to cover and lay chilly. They'll be transporting munitions on the backs of water buffaloes. Make sure you wait until those bulls are right in front of us before you blow the claymores. Tôi sắp quy rồi Tôi cần ăn một chút Bà nghĩ được một được Thôi Mày đừng có phản nàn nữa mày Mày ăn không quá rồi mà
Wait, get down! I'm tall! Put out rounds! Another trap! Watch where you're walking!
Holy shit! He said there's a large tunnel complex right below us. We could probably score some good intel down there. Shep, maybe you should get down there and snoop around. I'll put in a call to the six and tell them to have an extraction ready. Come no. Tôi không vào đó đâu. Mày thằng này. Mình phải làm hãy Rút lui tụi nó kìa Rút lui Rút lui
Tại sao Mỹ đen phải đánh giặc chi Nếu sau khi về tới nước Mỹ cũng không phải là công dân Mỹ Ê, Anh có thể hỏi sẽ phạt giùm tôi được không This is a larger map of a tunnel complex near Kuchi. Number one score. We gotta get these documents back to the base. Let's move it. Oh shit! Watch it! I guess we're not getting out there. Well, we'll have to take that other tunnel. After you, Shepard. Dear son, I hope everything is well. I know it must be hard spending so much time with foreign soldiers, but from what I understand, they could use your help. The papers over here seem to think that the Arvin troops are useless. They seldom want to fight, and when they do, they are unnecessarily brutal to their own people. Of course, I know enough not to believe everything I read. Jamie's been drafted. He chose the Marines just like you. A bunch of his punk friends told him to ignore the draft card and sit out, but he decided to go. I know it won't be easy for him, but every man's got to do his duty. I didn't know what to expect from him, given the way he's been drifting lately, but I'm proud of his decision. We won't know for a few months whether he'll be sent to Vietnam, 
but the thought of having both sons over there worries your mother sick. You make sure to write her soon. Maybe a little discipline will turn Jamie around. You take care of yourself, son. Love, Dad.